Hello everybody, welcome back to our Holy Week Praise at Three uh, Boxes videos with Daniel over here and Daddy over here That's right Daddy and Daniel and uh, together we're looking today at what day is it today? Maundy Thursday Maundy Thursday, it's a special day uh, so if you haven't been uh, able to watch all the videos so far I will put a link just above my head for yesterday's video but if you've missed any of the other videos at all including the preparation session best thing you can do is subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, then you'll find all the videos are there waiting for you whenever you want them. So what we're going to do today is very slightly different while I'm uh, reading the Bible passage Daniel is going to start preparing our scene for us. So Daniel, you can get started on that. You're going to do it up here so people can see you doing it. Okay. Perfect. Okay, away you go. And our reading today is from Mark chapter 14 verses 12 to 25. And one of the words right at the beginning is the word unleavened. And that means thin bread, bread that doesn't have any yeast in it. It was the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, and the Passover lambs were being killed. Jesus' disciples asked him, where do you want us to prepare the Passover meal? Jesus said to two of the disciples, go into the city where you will meet a man carrying a jar of water. Follow him, and when he goes into a house, say to the owner, our teacher wants to know if you have a room where he can eat the Passover meal with his disciples. The owner will take you upstairs and show you a large room furnished and ready for you to use. Prepare the meal there. The two disciples went into the city and found everything just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover meal. Perfect. Okay. While Jesus and the twelve disciples were eating together that evening, he said, The one who will betray me, it's fine, the one who will betray me is now eating with me. This made the disciples sad, and one after another they said to Jesus, You surely don't mean me. He answered, It is one of you twelve men who is eating from this dish with me. The Son of Man will die just as the scriptures say, but it's going to be terrible for the one who betrays me. That man would be better off if he had never been born. During the meal, Jesus took some bread in his hands. He blessed the bread and broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, it is my body. Jesus picked up a cup of wine and gave thanks to God. He gave it to his disciples and they all drank some. Then he said, This is my blood which is poured out for many people, and with it God makes his agreement. From now on I will not drink any wine until I drink new wine in God's kingdom. So Daniel, what have you done for us while we were uh, listening to that passage? Wine and a plate. A cup of wine and a plate. And what goes on the plate? The bread. The bread. Excellent. So today our box has turned from a box into... A table. A table. And so we need Jesus to sit at the table or to recline at the table. So can you get it open? Do you need a hand? There you go. I'm going to turn it around so that everybody can see the cup. Hopefully they can just about see it on their screen. Perfect. There we go. And there's Jesus. Now we've just cheated. We've put him on a little tiny old hymn book so that he's stood, stood above, so you can see him above the table. You might want to do something similar. And uh, of course we've moved to a new scene. Where have we moved to? To the... To the room where... To the room where he where he ate with his disciples and some of you might recognise this background it's rather a famous background uh, that appears in another Last Supper scene so uh, there you go there's our scene for today so what do we need to do now we need to ask the ask the questions now there are two questions today so Daniel and I are going to answer one of those together and then we'll leave you to answer the other question by yourselves so this was the last meal Jesus had with his friends. When do we think about this in church? 
So that's a great question. When do we think about this meal in church? Um, at communion. At communion. And what do we do at communion? We share the yeah. bread and wine. We share the bread and the wine. That's it. So uh, Daddy says uh, a prayer yep. over the bread and the wine. And we ask God to bless it in a special way so that... Uh, when people come up to receive it, that they meet with Jesus in a special way, that they that they know God's presence in their life. And uh, and we, we do that because uh, in that Last Supper, Jesus said, do this to remember me, do this in remembrance of me. And so that's what we do in church. It's a very special time. And actually, one of the hardest things about being uh, uh, in lockdown for the coronavirus at the moment is that we can't meet together in church, can we? So we, we, we're really struggling with that sense of community, which is why we're doing these videos for you. So, what's the other question? How do you think his friends felt when they heard Jesus' words? How do you think his friends felt when they heard Jesus' words? Now, there was loads in that... Uh, can you go up so people can see you? There was loads in there. Uh, in, in that uh, passage, there was stuff about betrayal, there was stuff about Jesus going to his death, and there was stuff about doing things to remember him, about Jesus not drinking any wine again until he drank, drinks it in, the, in God's kingdom. So there's lots of things that he said to his disciples. So I wonder what you think his disciples felt, his friends were feeling. So what do they need to do now? Pause it. So you need to pause the video and have a discussion amongst yourselves. And when do they pause it? Now. Now. Welcome back. Uh, I hope you've had some really good discussions. Uh, we've had some good discussions, haven't we? Yep. And so how are we going to finish today? Lord's Prayer. We're going to finish with the Lord's Prayer. So we invite you to join with us as we say together, Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we hope you'll be able to join us again tomorrow when we'll be thinking about Good Friday. So bye for now. Bye.